Boa tarde, Lucas. Boa tarde, how are you? I'm fine. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. Um, se você quiser olhar lá, pode olhar também, viu? Uh -huh. é... How's your day? It's good. Yeah. It's hot, but it's, but it's good. It's warm, no? Uh-huh. Very warm. Yeah. Um, what do you want to talk today? Oh, you want to say hi to everybody? First? Oh, oi pessoal, tudo bem? How are you? So good to see you again. Mm -hmm. Obrigada vocês. Um, boa tarde, boa noite, né, em certos lugares. Aqui ainda é boa tarde. E Deus abençoe o sábado de vocês aí, nosso ok. Você quer falar sobre o que agora? O que você quer dizer sobre o que agora? Bem, hoje eu vou ler a Bíblia. Vamos ler João 9, versículo 21. Vamos ler João 9, Jesus heals a man born blind. Ok, you're gonna read the yeah. nine. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Here we go. Ah, Lucas vai ler a Bíblia, que ele achou muito importante, muito interessante, muito poderoso. É, quando Jesus ah, curou o cego de nascença. E ele vai ler aqui porque ele sentiu assim muito poderoso. O nome de Jesus que está em João 9. No que ele As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been born blind. His followers asked him, Teacher, whose sin caused this man to be born blind? His own sin or his parents' sin? Jesus answered, It is not this man's sin or his parents' sin that made him blind. This man was born blind so that God's power could be shown in him. While it is daytime, we must continue doing the work of the one who sent me. The night is coming and no one can work at night. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After Jesus said this, he spit on the ground and made some mud with it. He put the mud on the man's eyes. Then he told the man, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went to the pool. He washed and came back, and he was able to see. So people had seen this man begging before. They and the man's neighbors said, Look, is this the man who always sits and begs? Some said, Yes, he is the one. But others said, No, he's not the same man. He only looks like him. So the man himself said, I am that man. They asked, what happened? How did he get your sight? He answered, the man named Jesus made some mud and put it on my eyes. Then he told me to go to the salon and wash. So I went and washed and came back seeing. They asked him, where is this man? The man answered, I don't know. Then the people took, took to the Pharisees, the man who had been blind, the day Jesus had made mud and healed his eyes, was a Sabbath day. So now the Pharisees asked the man, how did you get your sight? He answered, he put mud on my eyes, I washed, And now I can see. Some of the Pharisees were saying, This man does not keep the seventh day. He is not from God. Others said, But a man who is a sinner 
can't do miracles like this. So they could not agree with each other. They asked the man, What do you say about him? It was your eyes he opened. The man answered, He is a prophet. The Jews did not believe that he had been blind and could now see again. So they sent for the man's parents and asked them, Is this your son? You say that he was born blind. Then how does he see now? His parents answered, We know that this is our son, and we know that he was born blind. But we don't know how he can see now. We don't know who opened his eyes. Ask him. He is old enough to answer for himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Jews. The Jews had already decided that anyone who said that Jesus was the Christ would be put out of the synagogue. That is why his parents said he is old enough. Ask him. So for the second time, they called the man who had been blind. They said, You should give God the glory by telling the truth. We know that this man is a sinner. He answered, I don't know if he is a sinner. But one thing I do know, I was blind. And now I can see. They asked, What did he do to you? How did he make you see again? He answered, I have already told you that, but you will not listen to me. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to be his followers too? Then they insulted him and said, You are his follower. We are followers of Moses. We know that God spoke to Mo Moses, but we don't even know where this man comes from. The man answered, this is a very strange thing. You don't know where he comes from, and yet he opened my eyes. We all know that God does not listen to sinners, but God listens to anyone who worships and obeys him. Nobody has ever heard of anyone giving sight to a man born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. They answered, You were born full of sin. Are you trying to teach us? And, and they threw the man out. Jesus heard that they had thrown him out. So Jesus found him and said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He asked, Who is the Son of Man, sir? Tell me, so I can believe in him. Jesus said to him, You have already seen him. The Son of Man is the one talking with you now. He said, Yes, Lord, I believe. Then the man bowed and worshiped Jesus. Jesus said, I came into this world so that the world could be judged. I came so that the blind could see and so that those who see will become blind. Some of the Pharisees were near Jesus. When they heard him say this, they asked, What are you saying that we are blind to? Jesus said, if you were really blind, you would not be guilty of sin. But now that you say you can see, your guilt remains. Amen. 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 Ah, Lucas leu uh, João de 9 a 10. De, não, de 9 a 41. Amém? Amém. Um, what do you think about this story between Jesus and this blind man? It's it's a miracle for him. Mm -hmm. It's it's good. The man can't see, but Jesus put mud in his eyes to make him see. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's a miracle. I know. It's beautiful. Yeah. 
one thing bothers me is that people don't believe mm-hmm. in what Jesus did to mm-hmm. the blind man. Yeah. They kick him out. Jesus saw and they explain. Yeah, I don't, I don't like people who don't believe in Jesus or believe in his work. Well, a lot of is, is still exist people like that. That's true. A lot of people now believe in, in Jesus' miracle. And uh, and it's hard in this time. Sometimes you say Jesus did this to me. He healed me in some in some place in my body. People, some people believe, some not. Yeah, it's very sad because Jesus is powerful. He is powerful. Yeah. E Lucas está falando que ele não gosta de pessoas que não acreditam em Jesus e porque Jesus é poderoso e ele fez milagre no homem que tá, estava que cego, que nasceu cego e as pessoas viram, mas não acreditaram nem em Jesus nem no homem. E ele falou que não entende sobre isso, então eu estou explicando para ele que Ainda existe pessoas assim e nesse tempo agora que nós estamos vivendo, até os testemunhos de contar milagres, curas que o Senhor Jesus fe- fez e faz, diminuiu. A gente quase nem ouve mais. Então, mesmo que a pessoa conta um milagre, muitas pessoas nem acreditam. Então, realmente... Nesse tempo que Jesus estava na terra e que ele fez milagres em vários lugares, é, o nosso mundo continua o mesmo. Continua o mesmo. Uns acreditam, outros não. Uns glorificam, outros não. Só Jesus para ter misericórdia desse povo. Yeah. Então vamos... You want to pray for, for those people who need to open their eyes and need a miracle? Yeah. Okay, let's... Lucas vai orar para as pessoas que precisam de um milagre. Um, pessoas que creem em Jesus Cristo e precisa de um milagre. You want, you're going to pray for people who need a miracle and believe in Jesus Christ, right? Yes. Okay, let's go. Lord, we Amen. come before you in the name of Jesus. We ask you to please touch this people's heart and brain and eyes everywhere in the world for them to see your miracle. They need to know your power. They need to know you. They need to know you have the power of miracles. You create beautiful things. You are the King of Kings, the Amen. Lord of Lords, Jesus. and doctors and doctors, Amen. and saviors and saviors, and healers and healers. Amen. Heal those people that lost faith, forgive their sins, please heal them in the name of Jesus, Amen. take good care of them, and please open their eyes, Amen. make them see your work, make them see your glory, Amen. make them see your mighty power. Mm-hmm. Because you, Jesus, is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Your power is beautiful. Thank Everything you, so you do is beautiful. Jesus. You are amazing, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Mm-hmm. Please watch over those people. Jesus. In Jesus' name, open their eyes. Jesus. Heal everyone that's been blind. Heal those that feel sick and weak. Jesus. Please take away the enemy far away from them and Thank feel Jesus. the power of miracles. In Jesus' name I pray Amen, today. Jesus. Amen, Jesus. Amen, Senhor Jesus. Amen, Jesus. Oh, aleluia, Senhor. Muito obrigado, you, Senhor God. Jesus, por essa tarde, Senhor, por estarmos aqui reunidos, Senhor, na Tua presença, Senhor, Te Thank clamando, you, Senhor, you, por cada vida, Senhor, que estamos assistindo neste momento, Senhor, por aqueles que vão assistir, Pai. Te pedimos nesse momento, Senhor Jesus, que o Senhor venha abrir, Senhor, os olhos espirituais, oh Deus, daqueles que estão, Senhor, cegos, oh meu Deus Santo, aqueles que, Senhor, que estão fracos, Senhor, espiritualmente, Pai, abre, Senhor, os ouvidos espirituais, oh Deus, para ouvir a Tua palavra, a Tua verdade, aleluia, Senhor, 
Oh, Deus. Deus de poder e Deus de misericórdia, Senhor, fortalece aqueles que estão sentindo, Senhor, sem força, Senhor, porque só o Senhor conhece o levantar e o sentar de cada um, Pai. Te peço, Senhor, e te agradeço, Senhor, pelos milagres que o Senhor está fazendo, Pai, por aqueles que o Senhor ainda vai fazer, Pai, nas vidas de todos nós que precisamos da Tua ajuda, que dependemos de Ti, Senhor. Te louvamos e te exaltamos, Senhor, e te pedimos, o Senhor, que o Senhor tenha misericórdia, Senhor, daquele Senhor que quer ver, Senhor, para agradecer o Teu santo nome, Pai, para aqueles que querem ouvir, Senhor, a Tua palavra, para crescer espiritualmente, Senhor. Abre portas, Senhor, levanta os anjos, Senhor, levanta teu exército, Senhor Jesus, a favor deles, ó oh Pai, para ajudá-los, ó oh Pai Santo. Muitas pessoas, meu Deus, passando necessidades espirituais, ó oh Pai, muitas pessoas precisando, Senhor Jesus, de uma, de uma mão amiga, Senhor, de uma mão, Senhor, para levantá-los, Senhor, para dizer, para ensinar, Senhor, para orar, Senhor, e dizer quão grande e poderoso eres tu, e nada, Senhor, estamos sozinhos neste mundo, Senhor Jesus, te louvamos, Senhor, e te exaltamos, e te, já te agradecemos por os milagres que o Senhor vai fazer, porque o Senhor é um Deus de milagres, Senhor, o Senhor é um Deus, Senhor, que está com todos nos, nos outros, ó oh Pai, que está conosco, ó oh Pai, desde agora, Senhor, Desde eternamente, o Senhor é o mesmo ontem, hoje sempre será o mesmo, meu Deus. Muito obrigado, Senhor, pela Tua presença, pelo Teu amor, pela Tua misericórdia. Em nome de Jesus Cristo de Nazaré, obrigada por todos que está, Senhor, seguindo Lucas, ó Pai, que todos escreveram neste canal, Senhor. Que seja de bênção para nós e nós para eles, em nome de Jesus. Amém, amém, amém. Glória a Deus, aleluia.